Next up is an actual prank. Let me start with a question. Have you ever gone to a sleepaway camp? I was a camp counselor for years. Okay, did you ever play pranks on the kids in your charge? Of course. In fact, that was a job requirement. Ever take a sleeping person's hand and dip it in a bowl of warm water to see if they'd wet themselves? Actually, no, but I have always wondered about that one. You're not going to have to wonder much longer because we're going to put it to the test. Well, all right then. <laughs> Aside from our sleeping human guinea pigs, the only piece of equipment the team requires for this test is this moisture-activated <laughs> voice alarm. So how is it that these shiny strips of metal are able to detect liquid? Well, when water crosses over two of these strips, it'll allow a minute amount of electrical current to pass through it, and this alarm right here is sensitive enough to detect that and start yelling at me. Oh my god, what the hell are you doing? When it does. Next, the guys need a place to sleep. Got my jammies, I'm ready to go to work. And here at the California Sleep Lab, in this bedroom with a view, they've got state-of-the-art monitoring equipment. This looks comfy. A lovely plastic sheet. This is a camp prank, a staple of camp pranks the world over for generations, I swear. And it is simply that if you take a sleeping person's hand and place it in a bowl of warm water, that person will involuntarily wet themselves in their bed. Yeah. Now, we researched the heck out of this, and we got tons of anecdotal evidence, but nobody seems to have studied it, and that's where we come in. All right, so we're gonna start your hookup now? Okay. We have come to the California Center for Sleep Disorders, and Jamie and I are each going to take turns being the test subject. One of us will fall asleep in this bed, and when we reach the correct phase of sleep, the other one will sneak in with a bowl of water and see if this is, in fact, true. Do I think this is gonna work? Well, in my case, not so much. As it happens, I'm a very light sleeper, and uh, my suspicion is that if somebody comes in in the middle of the night and tries to mess with my hand, the other one's gonna hit him square in the face. And that is surely the key stumbling block for this myth. Is he sucking his thumb? Unless they are absolutely out for the count, getting the sleeper's hand into the water without waking them up will be tough. But that's where clinical director Michael Salemi comes in. His eyes are closed, but he's definitely not asleep. With all the electrodes on Jamie's head, what are we looking at there? These are his eyes right here, and we're looking at eye movements, and, and this is his EEG. So we're looking at his brainwave patterns here to see if there's any changes that would indicate that he's actually falling asleep. Basically, by monitoring the brain's electrical activity, we can tell how deep is Jamie's sleep. Stages one and two are light transitional stages that won't be ideal for this test. Stage three, also called slow wave sleep, is the goal. Here, brain activity is significantly reduced and the sleeper is less easily woken. But Jamie's playing hard to get. He's not sleeping, he's waiting. And Adam, geared up with night vision goggles, loses patience and goes in. Oh, you're totally awake. You've had like two hours, man. Sorry. Nice get up. Thank you. I think your time is up. I think it's my turn. Okay. Well, I don't mean to be a party pooper, but no sleep, no results. So, I was right about Jamie not sleeping. He was waiting, and he waited us out. He waited so long we had to throw him out as a test subject. I've always wanted the cyber hair extensions. And now, it's my turn. As soon as Adam's down, he's out. And finally, things are looking up. Or are they? Although Adam dropped asleep really quickly, he may not be a very good candidate for this either because Adam has sleep apnea, which means that he's struggling for air from time to time and it's waking him up. So he may not be able to get down into that deep sleep that we need him to be at to do this trick. But before the team runs out of patience, Adam finally descends into stage three sleep. However, there's another complication. Both of his hands are under his head, so wow. I don't know what to do other than try it. If he doesn't wake up, maybe we'll get what we need. 